welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, why isn't the QAbstract proxy model updating on the data change signal? Let's break down the issue. The viewer has implemented a set data function in their source model, but the table view displaying the proxy model only updates when clicked. What could be going wrong here? The viewer connected the data change signal from the source model to the proxy model, but it seems the proxy model isn't responding as expected. They wonder if they need to manually emit the data change signal in the proxy model. After some investigation, the viewer discovered that the proxy model might not be calling map from source on the indices from the data changed signal. This raises questions about how updates are actually processed. In a recent update, the viewer implemented a slot to handle the source model's data change signal, which seems to work for the first index. But is this the right approach? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question answering it and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's address the issue of the QAbstract proxy model not updating when the data change signal is emitted from the source model. First, we need to ensure that the set data function in the source model is correctly implemented. In this function, we check if the index is valid and if the role is edit role. If both conditions are met, we update the data and emit the data change signal. However, the proxy model must also respond to this signal. Next, we need to ensure that the proxy model correctly maps the indices from the source model. This is where the map from source function comes into play. The proxy model should use this function to convert the source indices to proxy indices. By connecting the source model's data changed signal to this slot in the proxy model, we ensure that any changes in the source model are reflected in the proxy model. This is crucial for keeping the view updated. Finally, it's important to verify that the data change signal is emitted correctly in the proxy model. If you find that only the first index updates, ensure that you are handling the range of indices properly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with QAbstract proxy model not updating, you need to connect the data change signal from the source model to a slot that maps the index to the proxy model's index. Remember, you can't directly re-emit the source model's signal because the index will not be valid for the proxy model. By properly mapping the index, your proxy model will update correctly when the source model changes. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for, and if it did, Please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.